What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about suicide, which is a really prominent topic right now in hip hop, which made me want to get more into it, which is like a really big thing right now because obviously you guys have probably all heard of the brand new song that just came out by Logic not that long ago, 1-800-273-8255 which has been super big, he even played it up on the VMAs. I don't wanna die, I finally wanna be alive, I finally wanna be alive, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Which obviously brought like a lot of people to tears, but you don't just got logic, you also got little Uzi Vert on his famous EXO tour life song. He was talking about contemplating death because of a family relationship. And even XX Tentacion raps about in his newest album 17 about his good friend Jocelyn about committing suicide. She just sent back a phone call, girl that you fuck with, kill herself. That was this summer when nobody helped, and ever since then when I hate myself, when the fucking end it. Now it's not just all the new rappers that are pushing it forward and talking about suicide, it's actually quite an old topic. Even Styles Pew on The Breakfast Club was talking about suicide and how his daughter committed suicide, which actually brought him to tears. Um, it's difficult as a as a black man, because we come up in households where we don't really pay attention to family issues. Like, we, we so much on the hustle and trying to get the money that family becomes second and money becomes first. I mean, even Lil Wayne ended up rapping about, even in the past, about how he tried to commit suicide and it failing. When I took the suicide, I didn't die. I remember how mad I was on that day. Man, you gotta let it go before I get up in the way. Let it go, let it go. And it even goes back to Kendrick Lamar in the song You when he starts rapping about his own suicide. And if this marriage can talk it and say you gotta go. And if I told your secrets, the world or no money can't stop a suicidal weakness. And things is happening back home in my city or within in my family that I can't do nothing about. It's out of my control. I don't can put it in God's hands. I couldn't understand that. And that, that can draw a thin line you know, between you having your sanity and you losing it. But it doesn't just end there. You got Ghetto Boys, Notorious Big, Nas, Tupac, Kanye, Kevin Gates, Vic Mensa. It just goes on and on and it shows you the past of all the rappers talking about committing suicide. I mean, these are through all the errors. So this is not a new subject. It's just getting more and more touchy. I mean, suicide is the second leading death in the United States. That's fucking insane. I often drift when I drive. Having fatal thoughts of suicide Bang and get it over with And then I'm worry free But that's bullshit I Swear to God I wanna just slip my wrist and end this bullshit Throw the magnum to my head threaten the bullshit I'm getting there and well in my hand Trying to hold it steady Anything in my way is dead Cause that's the way I feel I am already So much pressure in this life of mine I cried times I once contemplated suicide And would have tried but when I held that knot All I could see was my mama's eyes Jumping out the window Can't understand what I'm saying Can't figure out what I'm implying If you feel you don't wanna be alive You feel just how I am I'm Contemplation of an ending with this pistol to my temple Thinking if I pull this trigger will it send me take my misery away Or would I just be killing me in vain The violence and the lies slip suicide into my mental health I did acid in the studio one day and almost killed myself but even in this interview with Kevin Gates, how he talks about like writing about the suicide and writing about the different things is almost like a therapy for him, which is like insane to think about that these suicide lyrics and just any lyrics that he writes is like almost like his own, he's making his own therapy. I just make music. So you just keep I going. have to make music. It's therapeutic to me. Yeah. You know, I suffer from severe cases of depression. Yeah. So that's my only way to vent. That's my only way to release yeah. is through making music. And it doesn't stop there. Like, Kid Cudi is also very therapeutic with Kevin Gates, and they both kind of share their same similar differences, but it also shows in his music. And if I die before I wait, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Cause I'm ready for the funeral. Trying some coke and a happy ending be slid in my throat. So young am I? My mom's calling, think I see it decline. I'm numb face while I'm thinking about suicide. You know, loneliness is is a terrible, terrible thing, man. And 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 if you don't know how to conquer it, 
It can eat you alive. And it doesn't just stop there. Like, Cuddy saved a bunch of people. Like, he saved tons of celebrities and tons of peers. And it shows, like, tons of different interviews with different people talking about how they may think or they may know that Kid Cuddy has actually saved their life, which is, it's, it's unbelievable. And Why do you like Kid Cuddy so much? You, you saved my life. I would have killed myself if I didn't have Kid Cuddy. That, there's wow. me, any, if you're 25 and under, I, I truly believe that Kid Cuddy saved your life. Kid Cuddy, man. Kid Cuddy's like... Really like one of the main dudes I kind of like looked at and listened to all the time. He saved my life. He saved me from doing like random bad things to myself. And that just goes to show it. Not just the lonely people, but celebrities and people with lots of followers, people with lots of money, people with lots of things can still have depression and still be lonely inside and still want to kill themselves. So if we could all just stick together, be together, be happy together. The link for the depression number will be down below for suicidal prevention. And uh, anyways, if you guys like this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up and a comment down below if you guys could share this with more people so they can see that they're not the only ones alone and that they're even the celebrities are also having issues with their lives. Until next time, guys. Peace out.